Mustafa Said is going to deliver the presentation. Thank you very much. Mustafa Said Tilek, floor is yours. Distinguished chair, distinguished participants, I would like to thank everyone who had efforts in the preparations of this very significant symposium, especially to Turkish Religious Affairs Authority. Our study is called Aesthetic Dimension of Hajj. In this presentation, we are aiming to explain the reflection of Hajj on music and also how music is supporting the implementation of Fars, that worship, and how Islam is helping to develop this form of art. We will be talking about music with its companion to tradition, the worship itself, and the emotional level. Starting from Kaaba, Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he is talking about the heart, it's talked about if the heart is in the right place, the entire body is in the right place. And if it is disturbed, the entire body is disturbed. Therefore, you have to be very careful about the heart. Therefore, heart is not only a piece of meat, it has feelings, it has emotions and sensations. And the specific and very special position of Kaaba is representing to be the heart of the entire universe. And if the entire humanity is considered to be a one single body, the heart and soul is Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him. And therefore, the places that he has been is having a very significant spiritual place in our hearts. So these three hearts are mobilizing our emotions. Kaaba, the heart of the universe, Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the heart of the humanity, and the heart of Adam, uh, for so as the expression of God on earth. So, music is an important part. When we talk about some chants, And it has some also significant explanation about this chance. These chants are helping people to increase their emotional uh, sensations throughout their worship. So they have an important significant significance in Hajj months, Hajj season. Before 1846, starting from so that travel used to start used to take for seven months before pilgrims arrive in Mecca. Therefore, huge amount in, in all part of the year, people have emotional changes and the spiritual uh, levels. Therefore, this chance have a quite widespread place. Anything about Hajj is transformed into chants, this music. 
the journey of Hajj is not ending when you arrive in Hajj, but it actually creates a transformation in your life in general. Therefore, being a Hajji or pilgrim is not ending when you are back from uh, Mecca. It is about the self-training. It is about having an, uh, just elapsing a long way in the journey of life in general. So let's talk about the um, effect of music on the tradition. Starting from the, uh, the, our prophet, we can see Hajj music in the hadith of prophet. And we saw that he used to have this takbir, talbin, salat, and salam. And during the Hajj journey, this type of uh, music is performed. Also, the uh, citation of Quran and reciting of Quran is starting from the early times of prophets. So that's a long lasting tradition. Ha, pe, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that Gabriel came to me once and raised his voice to say uh, takbir. When the pilgrim come to Mikat and changing clothes to wear ihram, then they should also cleanse their heart from evil. And lebeg is a way of determination to follow the root of Allah rather than the root of evil. All this takbir and repetitions and chants, these are very important uh, aspects and they are supported with music. And it actually helps our worship to have a deeper impact When we look at the time of Amavi, Gemini's uh, expedition, Hajj expedition, is an important uh, impact because he's a famous singer. It created an important impact on Hajj music. Also, in the Abbasi time, in the caravan of Hajj, there is a miniature, and we can see that it is actually a band. In that miniature, it says that Hajj is not only a bodily activity, but it is also a self-training. In Surah bands, it signifies also the power of the empires therefore the bands military bands are used to send and there is a music being performed throughout the entire journey to Hajj in Selçuk and Ottoman times before people set off their journey with Hajj they used to uh, walk around the streets by some drums and music and they used to sing those chants talking about the value of Hajj Arafat Zemzem and Ravza Also, the chants, the takbir, and other uh, religious words used to be sung. In Surah, first Ashur is being recited, and then again with takbirs and tahlils, again chants and mevlid uh, used to be performed. Also, during saying goodbye and saying welcome to the pilgrims, again, the reciting from Quran and the playing of some instruments with different drums in the Sufi uh, tradition are used quite widespreadly in Hajj music. Uh, 
there are certain type of music which is praising uh, Muhammad and also there are different types of music which differ with different themes they are all supporting our soul they are all encouraging us to be more uh, unified with uh, uh, worship mentality and it also talks about the purifying effect of Hajj and also talking about the holiness of all these places visited during Hajj duty. Tekbir, Telviye, and Salavat, Tabaf, Sai, Vakfe, and also the visit of uh, Arafat and Mina. Uh, this, uh, singing those chants are also uh, amplifying the spiritual effect of joining in these rituals. Hard journey starts with an intention, and there's a decision for a change and transformation. That's an invitation from Allah for those who can afford this journey physically, mentally, and financially. And those emotions are turned into some poems and turned into some chants. Uh, there is that work starting, I started my journey from uh, Anatolia. Ihram is the clothing, Hajj, hajj clothing, Ihram. And when you are wearing your Ihram, you are striping off from your earthly sins and uh, desires, but you are putting yourself in a whole new mentality. Therefore, Ihram is also supported with some chants like Tekbir, Talbiye, Salat Ummiye. And when these chants have been performed, it gives a better and more strengthened spirit in wearing Ihram. Last three minutes. Again, with regard to supporting the spirit of hard journey, we can say that that worship doesn't start when you board on the plane. It's about just organizing your behavior, training your inner self, and it is also reaching inner peace by being in taqwa, being close to the God. And for pilgrims to be able to reach that spirit, they have to internalize these rituals, and together with that worship, they have to support the, and, and kind of embellish that worship with such chants, with such type of repetitions. This will clean off the rust in your heart and make it pure. Religious musical forms are helping a lot in that direction. When we look at the memoirs of some <coughs> important figures, Fatih Koca says that the form of the makam of Tekbir, <coughs> it has an important significance for the uh, unity of Islam and the Islamic community. And it is also an important flag carrier for Salat as well. Also, when we talk to scholars or uh, officers going to Hajj, saying that these chants are really creating an inner peace and also strengthening the power of these worships. So this is one of the inseparable parts of Hajj duty and Hajj worship. All these chants have been performed during uh, Hajj is performed in accordance with the place and the time and the type of the ritual. If they are performed accordingly, then uh, this the pilgrims can have a quite different level of understanding by combining the lyrics of the chants with the places and uh, with the rituals that they are performing, which will understand the value of what they're doing in a much deeper level. Those who are not performing their Hajj duty and those who cannot, they also have a very spiritual and very sensational effect as well. So they usually Per, uh, express their feelings through music, their love for Prophet Muhammad and also their uh, longing for Hajj is also reflected in this chance.
There are many examples of that by many important literary figures. As a result, Hajj is the heart and center of universe, and therefore it has reflections in all walks of life, including music. Not only during the Hajj duty, the, the, the rituals, but also throughout the journey itself, music is taking an important part and actually supporting believers in their endeavor. So it is also teaching individuals that there are certain categories that we need to gain throughout Hajj, before Hajj, during Hajj, and after Hajj, and music is a good reminder of that virtues. We have such a culture, we have Hajj music culture in uh, scriptures and also in digital recording and compositions. We can see many good examples of that. However, recently, these compositions are uh, becoming more monotonous and they are being far from artistic uh, value. Therefore, it needs further work for improvement. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to thank you for this uh, very nice uh, presentation. Thank you.